And yes, I turned the air conditioner on. Is it? Are you dying down there? Seventy-seven. It was seventy-four when I turned it off right before the show. Oh, wow. in, the, in the house. Yeah. How hot yes. is it outside? Uh, it's close to ninety. It's probably eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Yeah, it's eighty-three here today. It's like sixty here today. So. Ooh, that's oh. nice. Yeah. Must be nice to have actual fall. It's pretty okay. The leaves are changing. It's beautiful. I turn. Well, I guess I can try turning this around. I don't know if you can see anything. Probably not. Oh, no. Sort of see there's leaves out there anyway, so yeah, oh, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's my view. It's pretty okay. Ugh. Not bad at all. It's so hot. I'd, I I'd give up the uh, you know, Ken from Chicago in the chat room is pointing out it's not exactly a either or choice. You could get a car that can be self driving and human driven, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you could go for that, be able to tool around. Upstate. Yeah. In fact, I was talking with Maserati CEO in uh, at the New York Auto Show this year, and he was talking about the transition from one to the next and how that's what they, they want to do. You know, they're very much a car company that makes luxury performance cars, and autonomy is going to be the next luxury, I think. We got some uh, show title ideas at showbot.tv. Uh, Dude Dell's getting EMC for those classic Dell commercial fans. Uh, tap to bankruptcy, <laughs> which... You know, I said it, so I like it. Uh, Dell equals EMC squared. I like for whom the Dell tolls. For whom the Dell tolls. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is good. Re-RAM. Not bad. Uh, breaking news in China. Oh, that's clever. Very clever. Oh, Veronica used man. those special parts to make her robot friends. I don't get it. I'll vote for that one, too. It's a line from Mystery Science Theater. Oh. Joel like used those nerd. special parts. Robo Bjorn is pretty good too. Robo Bjorn. Yeah, Robo Bjorn. I like that one. I'm That's on topic. Uh, wow, Robo Bjorn shot to the top. Didn't oh, jeez. The special parts is good though. As a Mystery Science Theater fan, that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah, got to get my vote. Jenny would say it's too long. It is pretty long. Mm, maybe Robo Bjorn then. On phone <laughs> first. It doesn't make any sense, but I like it. <laughs> hey, Greedo, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> Talk to the feet. Talk to the feet. <laughs> Why are you here? I don't get yeah, I don't get that one. I'm I'm missing that because Captain Jack is is usually got really good, so it's probably just too subtle for me right now. Yeah. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here, Captain Jack? Captain Jack will get you. Hide tonight, take you to a special island. So Everyone's got the no news. Say. Good news says China, but that's China didn't say that. Apple mm -hmm. said that. Yeah, exactly. No news is good for us not getting in trouble. Apparently. Yeah. Uh Robo Bjorn. Robo Bjorn, or for who that? Yeah, I think Robo Bjorn is my favorite. All right. Good one. Now. The elephant in the room here is this is episode 2600. But it's not really because I made up the episode numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so people, I got a couple of people like, it's episode 2600. That's great. Oh my gosh. You know, the Atari 2600 thing, the, the 2600 magazine, uh, all of that. And yet, it doesn't oh, mean anything. I said, I asked Tim, why are you here before the show started? Because oh, because be of the bed. jet lag. That's what it was. Yeah. See, I knew it made sense. I yeah. just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here? Go to bed. <laughs> Go I to wouldn't sleep. be here. No, I, I, I feel like we're providing Tim a valuable service and keeping him awake. You are, yes. No, I, I actually, you know, when you travel as much as I do, you kind of get used to the whole thing. So I don't really... Lucky enough to say I don't really get jet, jet lag to even go into Japan and back. So we'll wow. see. I slept, That's uh, amazing. I slept eight hours last night, and we'll see how I do tonight. All right. Wow. Your body must be really messed up. It's just, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, how does the whole control thing? He's always mad. I'm just always tired. So it uh, works. Oh, uh, I see. Well, you sleep in a bed of, of blue light, too. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did I mention I have cheap LEDs in every light in my house? So the whole house just glows blue all night. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like the mattress is infused with blue LEDs that just shine up. Throughout. Yeah, I think they help regrow hair as well, and they also improve blood flow and all sorts of other wonderful things. That's not true at all. All right, but I should get running. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it, as always. Thanks for having me.
And it's good to see you, Veronica. Bye, and, uh, you too. Good take care, everybody. Bye, everybody in the room. Bye, Tim. Wow, they just uh, Scott announced that they're not doing Nerdtacular this year. <gasps> but not Are they the working country. on a new IP? No, he said that since 2017 is going to be the 10-year anniversary, they want to take some extra time to plan something really special. He, I knew it was a Blizzard excuse. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Um, there's just a lot of stuff. He's just busy, all his projects, and then... No, that, you know what? It makes sense. And, and he is, I joke about the Blizzard thing, but he's doing, he's taking a cue from Blizzard, which is like, we're not doing BlizzCon this year because we want to do it right or not do it at all. And we're doing all these other things and we don't think we can do it right. And that's what he's saying is, you know what? I want to do the next one really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh, it's sad yeah. though. Yeah, I was like, what am I going to do with all this free weekend time in the summer next year? <laughs> we could all just show up in Salt Lake yeah. City anyway. Be like, hey guys, you said you were busy, but we're here anyway. Maybe it's leverage over Snowbird. Like, Ooh. you'll miss us. Oh, you'll miss us, Snowbird. You want us back. You want us back. <laughs> Bad. No, you do. You know what? You can help me move. How okay. Where are you moving? <laughs> Don't move. Where are you going? Oh, that baby's asleep. She looks cute. Yeah, I'm not trying to talk very loud. That's okay. She's passed out. You got big, strong arms, Veronica. I do. That's pretty good. My yoga doing... arms. So, is your neck okay? Because I remember reading about the. Uh, the... Yeah, it's not. I mean, it was okay. It's better now. I can I can work out and go to yoga and do normal stuff. But every morning at like three o'clock, I wake up and it's totally clamped up, and I have to like. I can't get comfortable again. I have to like lay like flat on my stomach with my head all twisted in weird positions to get do it. Do you do hurt. do you do the? Uh, did they give you stretches to do? No, I was supposed to go back to physical therapy, but I haven't yet because I just. Do haven't you grind your teeth? I do, but I have a mouth guard and like a nerd. No, I feel like I. This is probably pseudoscience. <laughs> Let me just say this ahead of time. But, but I, I have feel a mouth like. Guard. I feel like there's something, yeah, but the mouth, what the mouth guard does is treat the symptom, right? I feel yeah. like there's something with posture and neck pain and teeth grinding that has some kind of related Plenty. cause. Yeah, stress. Well, stress aggravates it, but I think it's like, so, even if you're stressed, if you could change that underlying way that your body carries itself, it would solve all of those problems? It, it would yeah. solve most, but it won't solve... Well, so this is what my chiropractor, and of course, I'm not going to say a chiropractor. Well, there we go. I go right back to my original... <laughs> well, no, but but he said that um, in the cases he's treated, because I went to him uh, like three times, because I had the same thing Veronica had. He said that the problem is a lot of people are using so used to sitting in a desk and a computer for like hours mm -hmm. on the end yeah. of the day. No, I'm sure that aggravates it. That, that, that's absolutely um, true you form this posture that is irregular for your body. And what happens is your head tilts forward. Mm -hmm. And if you think about how much your head weighs, you know, depending how big you are, like my head probably about 20, 25 pounds, even if you tilt it forward off its balanced axis, you're putting a lot of strain on your neck and your upper back. And so oh, the one thing I know is when my dentist told me like, you have definite signs of grinding your teeth, I started paying attention to it. And I realized that when I, when I kept my, my neck in a different, more upright position, my jaw relaxed and I was less likely to grind my teeth, especially sleeping at night. Well, um, what he told me is that when you walk, you, should, you need to look up. He said it, it's a natural tendency because of smartphones and things for people to look down, look hmm. up. And what happens is you start kind of pushing your body. Look forward, back. not up. Yeah. It, it feels like you're looking up, but yeah, you're, you, you, you no, are looking no, forward. Uh, but yeah. yeah, exactly. But it you feels like you're looking better. up, but you should look forward. If you're depressed or suffering from depression symptoms, if you, when you're walking, if you keep your shoulders back and keep your head forward, you can kind of trick yourself into feeling a little bit better. That's instead of like kind of walking too. and like scratching, but you're like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm strong. Usually your trip to the walk. bar helps with that. Yeah. <laughs> Also, yes. Um, but yeah, it's like it's like doing power poses, you know, being like, I'm big and important in this meeting. You know, like, hello, I'm here for the interview now. I've always noticed <laughs> when I put on a suit or even just a jacket, I tend to want to stand up straighter. Like it just mm -hmm. it feels right. Like oh, I'm in I'm it's in a suit. Of, yeah, yeah, the jacket, just kind of a straight jacket. It's designed. Well, a I guess that's true, too. But I, I feel like there's a psychological effect as well. Oh, 
We will. Maybe we'll have to plan some other kind of fun family trip in July or June instead of Nertacular. Well, TV Zegon was saying, and I, I, I haven't watched the video or, the, or anything yet, but that he's going to rent out uh, a theater for the Warcraft movie. And so go back to Nerdtacular's roots, in other words, uh, and, and just and do that. It won't be a full-on Nerdtacular, obviously, but he'll at least yeah. be doing a, a Frog Pants-related thing. That would be fun, yeah. That's not, that is not replacing your family trip, your July no. family trip. Yeah. We'll figure something out. We got some time. Yeah, maybe I just won't go anywhere next year. Yeah, that kind of sounds nice, too. <laughs> After so many years, it really oddly does. Yeah. Like, if you tell me, but Tom, you'll miss this, I will be sad. I'm not, I'm, I'm not yeah, saying that I don't like anything I, do, I go do. Just the idea of not having to go places in general. FOMO is always a factor, for sure. What is? FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah. Well, that's how uh, marketing works. Yeah. Don't miss it. This you Sunday. won't want to miss this episode of Daily Tech News Show. Uh, Will you want to talk into the feet of a robot? The answer may surprise you. Yeah. Don't miss the next DTNS. <laughs> <laughs> what well, do you, do, Roger? Do you remember which segment it was that Prager wrote? The answer may surprise you. I used to write it before he even he even got hired. No, I know, but he wrote one at once. I think it and I think it was right after we all had a discussion about that particular thing. Uh, I just remember the Lotus Notes calendar entry for it and everyone just laughing. Yeah. Oh no, the problem is we used it for everything. Yeah, yeah. And I think maybe it was because he was new and people didn't realize I don't know. It was yeah, a big... that, that that show after Josh Gingold left, it wasn't the tightest ship. Oh, now. Well, no, it was just because now... The website was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> you know, time, time makes things seem better, Tom. Than they, it's know. a salve. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I'll work on doing all the stuff I normally do and then opening the door for my landlord in five minutes. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still just uploading, but we're we're pretty much done. If you guys need to go, um, yeah. So, other than Jenny out all week, is there anything special I should be aware of? Well, Veronica's here. What? I'm it's always here. when are you going to visit me, Veronica? You never want to visit. You always busy. Visit. I don't. If you're have a life and a baby, I don't want to just say. Hey, I'm coming over. Well, you, you never did that even before I had a baby. <laughs> well, yeah, what, I'm just going to come to your house? What do you want me to do here? I guess that's I only, that's, yes, I'll that's what you're do. supposed to do. Just go visit people that are your friends at their house? That's weird. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Who does that? Just, like, drive there? What is this, the 1930s? The 1980s. <laughs> I do. I do get to your neighborhood some somewhat occasionally. You're not that far from his no, neighborhood. Like, you're, you're, you're like 15. You could walk to his house. No, I couldn't. Sure, you could. Yeah. It would take like an hour. No, it wouldn't. No, it, it would take 45 minutes. I've walked to your. That's I used true. to walk to his house but from I've up not in my house. Up in uh, Crescent Heights. I I will say that walking that that distance and back again has really firmed up my. Uh, mid would you Would you walk to the Glen Park BART station? Me? Mm. I, I used to do yeah. it all the time. Me? Me? Yeah. Uh, I guess. It's further than 24th Street. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Don't give if too much away. It's not so hot out. If it gets less hot out. Yeah. Walk over. And it will. I have to take the dog out, but I, neither of us want to go outside. It's too... Oh, look what she's doing right now. Hold on. Here. Well, how... You know, the pavement might be really hot. So look at her. Right now. Oh, bodega. You know what's funny is they get Ellie are napping. Yeah. You know, they're just passed out, passed out little ladies. I want them to hang out and meet, though. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Well, actually, Jen wants um, her to to see more animals. Okay. Well, then maybe you should come over here. <laughs> yeah, but you have those. Your entryway is very scary for me with a child. That's why. Okay. Fine. Well, All right. I'll Goodbye, everybody. I'm out of the post. The and poison spikes, and then it'll be less scary. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.